ओम शांति एंड वेलकम बैक टू एन ऑल न्यू एपिसोड ऑन एक मुलाकात एज यू मे नो वी ब्रिंग अ स्पेशल गेस्ट यू ईच टाइम फ्रॉम डिफरेंट वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ आर डिस्टिंग गेस्ट टूडे इज मिस्टर कृष्णा रेड्डी ही इज द डेप्यूटी स्पीकर ऑफ द लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली ऑफ कर्नाटका ही वॉज एन एग्रीकल्चरिस्ट बाय प्रोफेशन एंड इन दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस on science spirituality and environment we will talk to him about his views on these three aspects of our life so let us all welcome mr reddy welcome to godlywood studio and uh, welcome to the brahma kumari headquarters in mount abu thank you you've come here for this conference where the theme of the conference is science spirituality and agriculture and um as i understand your background is in agriculture one question that comes to mind these days is a lot of people are going into organic food and what is your take on that in terms of comparing the organic food with the traditionally grown food earlier uh, people uh, like uh, 20 30 years back the agriculture field mm-hmm. we will uh, putting in the A homegrown compost, Compo- and, compost. Right. There are nowadays uh, there are chemicals, mm-hmm. chemical mixing. Right. Uh, that is not. Uh, it's a good uh, thing. Right. That's why uh, nowadays uh, all uh, people we are going to uh, old, uh, old fashioned old uh, fashioned farming. Yeah. Um, also, in Brahma Kumaris, there is something that is called as um, um, organic farming, where um, you know you take the supreme energy from the supreme Lord, and then you transfer that into the field um have you given any thought to this kind of farming or um uh, brahma kumaris has found a lot of positive results with this actually nowadays uh, that's why i told uh, you 20 30 years back uh, some uh, growth uh, like that old passion but uh, nowadays uh, all people uh, were going all uh, were uh, heating and chemicals mm-hmm. that's why the old passion they were all going to through mm-hmm. uh, so the, there is a we are eating the healthy food that's why we have something harka woodlu uh, something some varieties uh, uh, we are we are going to latest old passion in this conference um, is this your first trip to uh, brahma kumaris or you've been here before yeah no 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 i came first this is your first yeah, time yeah first time so when you came when you first walked into the campus what was your experience no yesterday i came and uh, Uh, diamond all uh, i went to one uh, conference so i am sitting uh, two two and a half hour okay so really i like uh, uh, very much was there anything in particular that attracted your attention or you know anything that you saw or heard which you thought well this is something totally different from what i have seen in other places no actually i uh, i took i see i saw the many places okay but uh, this is uh, Uh, Brahma Kumari is uh, is a really wonderful place. Wonder, mm-hmm. amazing. Uh, first time I came, really I am very happy. That's very nice. Um, here the method of uh, meditation that is taught here at Brahma Kumari is, is Raj Yoga meditation. Have you had a chance to explore that um, in any ways? Because it is, um, you know, there are different kinds of meditations as you may know. Uh, you have your Hatha Yoga and you have your Kundalini Yoga, and then there is Raj Yoga which is taught here. So did you get a chance to explore that? Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely, in our constancy, in our state, also we actually everyone uh, we have to inspire, like to come this uh, this field. Uh, definitely want to do. Right. Um, you come from uh, Karnataka. Yeah. And um, there is um, Brahma Kumari centers all over Karnataka, as I know. So, have you had any kind of interaction with uh, any of the centers at Brahma Kumaris, where the sisters there are very helpful and they're always eager to you know go out and talk to people um is there a chance that you may invite them at some point to develop the agricultural prospects in karnataka no not only karnataka everywhere uh, in the world uh, mm-hmm. they are doing a lot of uh, works really uh, i'm appreciate uh, brahma kumaris uh, really they're doing a wonderful job if um, you were to give any kind of uh, message to our viewers out there today you know there are a lot of people who are watching us today so if you want to inspire someone to maybe follow you in your footsteps 
and um, also in terms of meditation um, environment, uh, what would your message be? No, actually, I wanted to say a lot of issue, a lot of uh, says uh, regarding Brahma Kumaris, but uh, in the conference, uh, I am uh, as a deputy speaker, a guest. Today, I will uh, my deliveries uh, in that uh, uh, function. Okay. This um, Brahma Kumaris, I mean, whatever you learn here at the conference, is there any chance that you will take this back with you, like when you go back um, to your uh, hometown? Is there anything that you will take back with you when you go, any knowledge or anything that you have learned here or seen here? Uh, when I go back, uh, I started with uh, Brahma Kumaris and uh, uh, everyone inspired to come to this uh, field of spirituality and uh, uh, like uh, everyone uh, how to build country, how to like th like that, mm -hmm. uh, like that I will do it. Okay, in uh, terms of um, science and uh, spirituality, you know, there's a feeling that um, science and spirituality don't go hand in hand. But more and more we are finding out these days that it cannot be mutually exclusive. Science and spirituality have to come together. So, what are your views on that? No, actually, I have uh, good things, uh, but uh, not only mine, but uh, every want to come this uh, spirituality, uh, like uh, we did uh, some work. Okay. Everyone want to come to this field. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, spirituality. Right. But every people uh, in life, the peace of mind. Right. Uh, if want to peace of mind, they should come. Because uh, you know, more and more, it has become a kind of uh, a need, if I may use that word, where people are really looking for spirituality. And there are so many different methods out there, so many different gurus. Sometimes it can get confusing. So it's just a matter of uh, finding what works out for you and uh, following that. Um, in your personal life, I know you have a very busy life and you know a lot of decision making and uh, there's a lot of stress involved sometimes. So, how do you personally deal with all of this stress? No, well, every day, but uh, really what you, uh, what you told that uh, it is true. In political life is uh, always uh, stress and busy life. That's why uh, early morning uh, yoga, like this uh, uh, walking and exercise and, and this uh, spirituality, Always uh, political is there, mm -hmm. but uh, at least uh, at least weekly once, uh, whole day, like uh, this way we did. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do this, at least uh, some realize. Yeah, coming to conferences like these uh, helps um, because here the atmosphere itself is so pure and so peaceful that you can completely like charge yourself. And then you go back and then, you know, you can continue on this path. Um, if I may ask you, um, do you have time for any hobbies other than, you know, meditation and walking? Uh, what other hobbies do you have? No, always uh, hobby. I have uh, classical music listen. Okay. And uh, walking. Okay. And uh, some exercise. Always uh, I speak to... Uh, spiritually, mm -hmm. uh, like this. So, spirituality plays an important role in politics. Would you agree with that? Yeah, in the politics, uh, uh, always uh, we spoke to people and the spiritual regarding the spirituality. Uh, like this, uh, uh, always uh, we are uh, doing uh, politics. Mm -hmm. uh, in the middle, uh, sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes. Uh, the spiritual regarding spiritualities, Bra Brahma Kumaris, so all the what they are doing, mm -hmm. like uh, our also uh, involvement. Mm -hmm. Is there a role? Do you see in the near future any role for Brahma Kumaris to? Because I know Brahma Kumaris, they even go to prisons and they have a lot of projects. So as an ongoing project, is there a possibility that Brahma Kumaris can play more of a role, coming directly, say, into your offices? and uh, maybe holding sessions because they go to schools as well. So uh, do you see that as a possibility where they can come into your offices and maybe um, conduct meditation sessions either every day or once a week or you know a few times a week? 
Is that a possibility? Yeah, always uh, they will come to my office. Okay. Uh, what they need, uh, if tell me, definitely I will do it. Okay. Uh, I did uh, so many from years, uh, good services. Okay. So if anyone uh, can, e can easily come, uh, if an MLA, if a deputy speaker, uh, not like that. You easily come to, can meet okay. me. So what the, whatever they are saying problems, uh, immediately I will solve. And yeah, definitely, I'll join to her. Okay. Um, in your career, um, can you talk about any experience that stands out in your mind where, you know, you had to use um, your inner strength and spirituality to meet that situation? Is that anything that stands out in particular? Yeah, definitely. Sometimes uh, I'll take uh, some decisions uh, because of uh, stress and uh, then torture, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, sometimes uh, against to my co conscious, mm -hmm. uh, we have to compulsory we have to do uh, like that situation. So I don't want to. I'm going back to uh, fully spiritually field. Okay. I, th I thought some uh, like uh, the decisions uh, sometimes will come. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, I will set right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because um, there's there can be. Um, a phase of conflict, yeah. you know, where you don't know yeah, exactly yeah. which direction you have to go. Sometimes uh, it's a good, I know, but uh, I can't say. Mm -hmm. I like right. that uh, the, uh, the, in the political field, right. in the political field, it is a good thing, but I can't say. Right. I like that uh, situations, I did uh, decisions. Mm -hmm. I don't want to uh, uh, this field. And then uh, again, uh, I'll set right and I will go. I, you know, I know like uh, media plays a very important role in the life of people. Similarly, political people or politicians, even they play an important role because they are the decision makers in uh, many situations. How can we bring or how can we bring the union of uh, politics and uh, spirituality in your mind? How can that happen? So many times, uh, I uh, just now I say that in the political field, Sometimes uh, I can't say it is truth. I can't say. But uh, that time uh, uh, I have a really bad. Sometimes uh, uh, really I thought I, I'll take uh, decisions, uh, good decisions. Uh, sometimes uh, it's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, but always uh, wear whatever, whatever you want to say. But uh, I like uh, spirituality. Uh, in our family members also poor uh, back our uh, grandfather grandmother so they also come to line the, this line mm -hmm. so that's why uh, always uh, i like to spirituality uh, is your whole family uh, ha into brahma kumaris have they come to the conference not or? brahma kumari mm -hmm. so uh, this is the they are, they are going to some ashrams they okay. are going to some uh, other uh, from your um, career during the course of your career is there anything memorable that you would like to talk to us about? Really, uh, about uh, Brahma Kumaris, I know uh, uh, vaguely. But yesterday I came uh, really, I'm wondering, really I'm very happy. But uh, I go back and uh, I'll say in Karnataka also, uh, all uh, we are participating uh, Brahma Kumaris. Okay. If you are asked to describe your experience here in three words, what would it be? If a man would do like this field, mm -hmm. uh, really a whole country is a face up and mine. Mm. It's good. Uh, this is, um, you know, the premise of Brahma Kumari says uh, you change yourself and then you change the world. And um, the way this happens is one person at a time. Like you are impressed, you came here, you learned something then you go out and talk to your friends and family and then the whole world can become you know one peaceful place um, that's what i've heard a lot of people say that the first thing when they come here and what attracts them is the peace in this place because it's a place of meditation where like thousands of people have been meditating for years other than the peace um, and the quiet here was there anything else that uh, stood out in your mind or that attracted you here no, actually, uh, always uh, in political, I participate uh, many functions. Mm -hmm. 
so but uh, here and outside it's a very uh, different big difference a huge different huge, huge different that's why year after wherever i participate in my political uh, functions definitely i will say uh, regarding brahma kumaris like what uh, they have to uh, service and what they have uh, done this i everywhere i will tell that's very nice so it almost sounds like you're going to be a spokesperson for brahma kumaris and um you know that is very wonderful to know that you have been impressed uh, by your visit here and then you are able to take back all this with you and talk to everybody um that will be a very wonderful situation where we look forward to that yeah. and um we also look forward to having you back here again and again i mean this is your home so any time you get a chance any time you have time from your busy schedule if you can come back and you know spend time here that will be greatly appreciated yeah definitely i will uh, go back uh, i tell my wife and children again uh, once again uh, our, our whole family will come here and uh, year after uh, very where i will tell regarding brahma kumaris that's very nice um in uh, conclusion uh, you know we would like to continue this conversation but uh, you know we do have constraints of time um, in conclusion um, would you really like to like say anything to our viewers today yeah really in the, my lifetime first time i came uh, really i am very happy uh, but uh, whole country uh, they convert uh, like this mm-hmm. uh, everyone uh, it's a uh, participant uh, uh, this uh, conference uh, really country face everyone uh, have to face up man so that is the bottom line message for the whole world is to be peaceful and um you know spread the peace around to everyone yeah okay um with these words i would really really like to thank you for being with us and um i hope you enjoy the rest of the conference thank so you so thank you for coming thank you thank om shanti thank you you heard our special guest today mr reddy talk to us about his views on science spirituality and environment the one thought that resonated throughout this conversation was peace of mind he also talked about how spirituality can play an important role in politics with these words we would like to conclude this episode and we would like to thank all of you for watching us today and we look forward to seeing you again in our next episode until then take care and om shanti